Hello, today we are presenting one of the biggest updates to GSX Pro yet. Support for the Sim Update 12 for Flight Simulator, which adds lots of improvements to the Nav Data API to allow GSX working more seamlessly with Jetways. Until now, the Nav Data API didn't provide much information about Jetways. The only thing GSX got from the API was a flag indicating if a particular parking spot has a Jetway or not. This required GSX having to search all objects in the scene, trying to understand which ones might be jetways, based on unreliable heuristics like their names or their position, in order to obtain access to their variables, to detect their docked or undocked status. In this example, we parked our airplane a bit too far ahead, and this resulted in the simulator deciding to dock the jetway on the rear door, which of course is a bit strange, but that's how flight simulator jetway handling works. GSX doesn't have any control over where a jetway will end up docking to. It's something handled by the simulator itself, which will try to dock a jetway on any door that can work, based on the airplane position and its door configuration. I would like you to pay attention to how the jetway docked. It didn't connect very well to the door, resulting in the hood cover not extending. This has a big effect on GSX jetway status detection, as we'll see now. Since GSX must check the hood extension variables as the only way to detect the jetway status, because the hood didn't extend here, GSX thinks the jetway is not docked, so, when Debordine is selected, it sends another jetway toggle command to dock it, which in this case results in the jetway in docking, which is not right. Problem is caused by two limitations in the simulator SDK. First, with the sim update 10 nav data, we don't have any way to ask the dock status of a jetway so we had to use the only variables available, the ones reporting the hood extension. And, the jetway toggle command is, in fact, only a toggle, so we can't just ask for a jetway to dock or undock, but only invert its current status, which means if we cannot reliably detect it, we'll end up in docking when we shouldn't, like in this case. This results in the dreaded problem of passengers floating in the air, both because we couldn't detect the jetway as docked, but also because we couldn't detect it docked on the rear door. Now let's try the same situation with Sim Update 12, with the new improved Nav Data API that adds Jetway data. With the Sim Update 12 SDK, GSX no longer needs to search for Jetways, which was a slow and unreliable process. A single SimConnect call will provide complete information about all Jetways in a scenery, their positions and their current status. One of the most important data we are now getting from the SDK is the actual position of the jetway after it docked, which means GSX can detect the door the jetway docked to, instead of hoping the airplane was parked in a position that resulted in the jetway docked to the main exit. The jetway still docked on the rear because the airplane position, but GSX can now detect this case. In addition to that, even if the jetway didn't dock perfectly, resulting in the hood cover not being extended, it's not a problem anymore, because with the new Jetway API in Sim Update 12, we can obtain the Jetway docked status in a more reliable way, from SimConnect. Since the SDK now provides dot about the final position of the two bones that controls the Jetway kinematics, GSX can plot passenger waypoints correctly, no matter which door the Jetway docked to. This, combined with the more reliable way to detect the Jetway connection status, will prevent the issue of passengers walking on air. Another problem in the previous Nav Data API from Sim Update 10 was the inability to detect double jetways, which are placed on a gate using two identical objects, one being the real jetway, another one static, representing the secondary jetway, which the flight simulator jetway system cannot move, but it's there nonetheless. Since the two objects might have the same name, GSX couldn't reliably detect which one is the real jetway, resulting in the same problems as before of not being able to detect its status, undocking the jetway when it shouldn't have. This resulted in passengers walking in the air as well, but in this case the situation was even worse, due to the double jetway configuration at this gate, because now passengers would walk, in the air, to reach the root of the static jetway, instead of the animated one, because GSX couldn't reliably recognize it. Now let's try the same case with Sim Update 12. Because the jetway has been detected correctly, its status can be read reliably from the SDK, so GSX won't risk in docking a jetway after it docked. 
And since we no longer risk confusing the static jetway for the animated one, passengers now walk correctly through the right jetway, even in a double jetway gate configuration. Thanks to the improvements added to the SIM Update 12 SDK, GSX can now work more reliably than ever before with jetways. Thanks for your attention. We hope you'll enjoy the improvements added to GSX by the SIM Update 12.